All right, I have cut off the sprouts that were growing already off the nodes here. I ended up with seven of them that are looking pretty good. And I'm gonna try a different couple different uh, ways to get them to root. I have a few cups here, little plastic cups that I've used just for, you know, growing little things. Um, and I'm gonna do four of them with dirt and then other four of them just with water and see which way it works better here. So that's one way I'm gonna get these guys going that are already sprouting. Uh, and I'll show you the finished product after that. All right guys, so here's the four that I have planted in soil. And I just use little cups here, little plastic cups, some drain holes on the bottom. And I like these plastic cups so you can actually watch the root development through them. Uh, so four of them planted that way and then three of them over here that are just going to be in water and obviously I'm going to be able to see the root development on that too. The most important thing is how warm each one of these will get. I heard 70 degrees is what you need to really stimulate the uh, root development out of these guys. So I'll take care of these four kind of watch which ones do good and then obviously they're not going to spend the rest of their lives in these smaller ones. I'm going to repot them as they show uh, root growth out of there. So it has been about four weeks since I've put these guys in the water and in the soil. So let's take a look at how the roots have developed on here. First we're going to take a look at the ones that I've done on the water. And what you can really see is um, the stalks themselves, like the sugar cane, haven't really grown. It's about the same size as it was um, when I pulled them off. And you can see the roots actually have really developed in some pretty cool though. You can really see like the root structure on that. Let's see how close up we can get onto it. And you can almost see how it's been uh, self pruning itself and it's just been in water and to be fair it's just been regular water, regular rain water that I've been using on there. I haven't used any type of fertilizer. I don't know anything about hydroponics so I was just using it to see how it would set the roots and let's get a further look at that and you can see it's definitely been alive and growing its roots but it hasn't been growing the actual sugar cane and pretty much all of them have been that same way so you can see the root structure on this guy size of the sugar cane again about the same size as it was when I started it off and we got the third one here as well and again, they're about, I've actually had two of these in here. And about the same size that they started off. And the root structure on these guys, pretty much about the same as you can see here. So you got the little, the, the shoot roots or the bigger ones there. And they're really starting to go. But, again, no size growth to these guys. So let's take a look at the ones that have been growing in soil. Now we're looking at the four that actually put in the plastic cups and into soil. And as you can see, the roots on these have been going crazy. So this is just one side of it. This is the back side. And let's take a look at the bottom. And you can see it's really uh, pot bound, I guess you would want to call that, you know, in gardening terms. And they're all pretty much like that. They've needed to be repotted for quite a while. You can also see the different size of these as well. So we got this. And these have put on a lot more growth compared to the other ones that were just in the water. And all four of them are like this. So, you know, the roots on them, crazy growth on it, all the way top and bottom. And let me see if I can uh, get a really good close up on some of the root structure here. And let's see actually if I can get one of these pulled out too. Bear with me. Here we go. Now you can really see how the roots are on here. And I really need to get these out. I need to get these planted into, um, you know, like a regular pot so they can grow like their buddies back there. But for rooting, either way is going to work. If you want the best results, the soil is going to be it. And you can tell that by all four of them here. Let's do a side comparison real quick, size comparison. So there's one that was in the soil and the one next to it. Um, sorry, I 
you get these so you can see them really next to each other here the, the cups are the same size and you can see the size the difference in growth between all of them all the ones in soil are going to be like that so uh, again if you wanted to do either way they're both going to work if you wanted to get the way better results you're going to want to do it in soil obviously in water may work um, but you're going to want to know something about hydroponics probably and I don't uh, but it is kind of cool just watching these roots grow I'm probably just going to let these guys finish out the season in the water just to, just to watch them I, honestly I don't have room for them anymore uh, more pots after I repot these four so there we go now we know the difference between uh, soil and water